Hi, I'm Stuart from SAV Leadworks and today I'm going to give a guide on how to weld lead. Now then the first thing that we're going to do, we've got our two bits of lead here that we want to weld and we're going to just shave hook the edges just to clean it up a little bit. Do it about sort of like five mil. Don't do it too much in the same area because we don't want to thin the lead too much. done that so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a welding rod off now this can be off anything really it can be off the roll that you're using or any scraps that you might have it doesn't have to be anything special we're cut a couple of welding rods off i'll do mine about two to three mil thick but um just from preference really what you like to use now what i'm going to do to these rods is shape at these as well to clean them up this just takes off the oxidization and they give us a nice clean shiny weld this one. Do the same to that one going to do now is we're going to put our two bits of lead together that we want to weld. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now what we're using to weld this is oxyacetylene gas. Um, we've got a Modelo torch here and it's got a number three nipple on the end. Some people use number two but I've always used the number three. What you do first is you light the acetylene might take a little while to come through at first. Now you want to do that so it's about two to three inches. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly introduce the oxygen. And as I do that, you'll see the flame changing and becoming much more brighter. Now then, can you see this? It's got like a, um, a feathery point on it here. What we want to do is we want to increase the oxygen until that feather disappears and it goes into a little sharp ball. Something like that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put it to the lead to see how hot it is. It's not a bad flame there, so we're just going to tap both ends. Now then what you want to do is you want to bring the flame to the lead and you want to basically, see that little white sharp point there? That is where you, the flame needs to be. You don't want to come too close because there's a chance it will fire lead at you and if you pull it too far away you're going to end up with a really dirty weld. So really it's all about finding that sweet spot. Now what you do, you, you bring the torch in and you can see there it goes like molten lead and as it, when it does that now I introduce the welding rod to give it some thickness and you just carry on repeating that process. Get the other stick. And there you have it. There's our weld, and that is strong as anything. No matter how many times you do that, it's not going to break. I hope you found this video useful. Um, 
If there's anything you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments section, um, bossing roll lens or anything flashings, and I'll try to make it happen. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll catch you again.